Alrighty, welcome back. We are on episode 69. We're at the Telerium Mind. We were doing this quest, but quickly ran into an AI that was aggro, no matter what we do. And I don't want to deal with that until I visit the machine commune. So we're going to back out of this quest, return to it at some other point, and go ahead and head towards Denver now. and ends I've taken in trade might be useful. First time coming across codfishers. Hey, traveler. Why not visit Denver, the cultural center of Free Colorado? Warning. Dangers of Denver include hostile wildlife, scavenging thugs, Reagan worshipping fascists, rusty nails, collapsing buildings, and background radiation. Denver, the jewel of the north. <laughs> Finally at Denver. In session. Outsiders are forbidden to interfere. I mean, they should have programmed every one of these entrance conversations to happen like five seconds after the loading screen. At ease, Sister Glory. I know what this is about. The Patriarch has sent the famous Desert Rangers to inquire after his son, Valor. I'll be with you in just a moment, Rangers. Justice is swift in God President Reagan's America. Well, well, so polite. Excellent. We have something we'd like to discuss with you, too. Ronnie, are you ready to begin the trial? Yes, Nancy. Uh, present the accused. Construct depicting the elder statesman. Curious. And beautiful. Ah. A unique conversation with Morningstar. So you not only interrupt our trial, but you allow your machine to prattle on about our great god president? <laughs> Hmm. 
Well, hmm. I don't particularly want to lie about it. I like this option. That would probably be considered blasphemous. All right. Ah, yes. God President Reagan's presence can be overwhelming. But do try and contain yourselves. Now, back to the matter at hand. Husband, this heathen godfisher attacked three of our commandos, captured one, cut off his limbs, and sent him screaming into the sky. The gods of the sky must be appeased, or the nurturing rains will never come. Thus, we appease them with our sacred kites and the blood of unbelievers. Well, that doesn't sound very civilized. What's the other one done? Thank you, but please, no further interruptions. The other one, husband, is a communist robot from the machine commune who trespassed on our land. Your designation is incorrect. We are a direct democracy. And I entered your lands to heal the injured humans. It is irrelevant whether one is communist. Communist? Communist? As for the hippie, no one can be denied the promise that is, well, America. Let's give her a second chance. Go and, uh, send no more. <laughs> Fools! The gods of the sky will devour you! Uh, thus is justice done in America. God bless us, and God bless God President Reagan. Sorry to keep you waiting, but matters of state must come first. I'm Mother Nancy Reliance, and this is my husband, God President Reagan. Welcome to the Shining City on the Hill. Funny you should ask. I have a proposal in mind that could get you one, as well as help you with your Valor Buchanan problem. Come and join Ronnie and I in the Western White House. We'll meet you in the sacred server room and discuss it there. Good day. <gasps> Chili beans! We haven't had any visitors since we piled the patriarch soil. You're the Rangers, right? Meeting God President Reagan is a great honor. Congratulations. Rangers, we don't get many famous folks around these parts. And you're getting the VIP treatment too, meeting the God President face to face. I'm Sister Nancy Glory, by the way. Anything I can do for you? Oh, we didn't do any of that. That was all the gold, President. Ain't that right, sir? <laughs> I have to protect my Nancy, don't I? Oh, Ronnie. You're making me blush. Oh, Ron is everywhere. He sees through every statue in this place. But the place he likes to be most is in the server room with Mother Nancy. Ronnie, set her free. 
She's one of them crazy godfishers. They like to hang people's torsos onto kites and fly them up in the air. Supposed to attract demons from the clouds or something like that. Ugh, disgusting heathen nonsense. It'll all go when we finally cleanse this place. This is Ronnie's land, his oil, and we ain't leaving. Not for cannibals, call me computers, pinko robots, or filthy plain savages. Not for anyone. Filthy plain savages? Er, uh, present company accepted, of course. Well, because the robot was a commie, obviously. But you never know with Ronnie. Last week, he spared a robot, killed two godfishers, and incinerated a tree. It's all part of his plan, though. I know that. We take the name Nancy from Ronnie's original wife, back before the deluge of fire. It's the greatest honor a woman can achieve, being a Nancy. I love my Nancy. Oh, I love you too, Ronnie. The Godfishers? Sure. They're the crazy cultists who kill people and fly their torsos up to the clouds on kites. And I'm pretty sure they want to kill us all. <laughs> so, not very neighborly neighbors, if you know what I mean. Yeah, well, don't tell anybody I said so, but we kind of do. There's more and more of them all the time. They're moving into our oil field now. Of course, Ronnie blasts them whenever they get too close, but he ain't mobile, and Mother Nancy won't give me the troops I need to fight him. So, well, if you're looking for a paycheck, I told you we don't need saving. We just, oh, let's just change the subject. What else do you need? You two, Rangers. Don't forget, Mother Nancy and Ronnie are waiting for you inside. Hi, Rangers. Did you get a chance to speak to Mother Reliance and Ronnie? Well, they're waiting on you. Just head up the steps behind me. Folks inside can give you directions to the sacred server room. Don't forget, Mother Nancy and Ronnie are waiting for you inside. Don't forget, Mother Nancy and Ronnie are waiting for you inside. Okay. Let's do a hard save here. So, what is this stuff back here? Hold, heretics! Before you step into our trap! so they may delight the gods of the sky. However, first we have a proposal for you. The mechanical giant known as Reagan kills our faithful, delaying the harvest. You have access to the Gipper's inner sanctum. It has three glowing hearts known as terminals. You will destroy these terminals so we may sweep across this land, making gifts of flesh to the sky. In return, you may pass through our camps without fear. We will not harm you. Gods of the sky, for 
forgive them their foolishness. When their flesh feeds you, they shall be redeemed. Hmm. Okay, so got fishers. Alright, let's not do that now. Wonder if they can talk to Morning Star. Nope. Okay. There is no God but Ray. Pray for Rock. There is no God but Ray. Judgment Day is nigh. There is no God but Ray. There is no God but Ray. You'll find him at the north end of the building, in the sanctuary of the Holy Sir. What the hell? What is up with these conversations triggering when you're not even near them? I mean, I'm not even remotely close to these people when it's doing it. God bless, I cannot stand bugs like this. I really cannot stand bugs like this. So I'm walking over something over here and it's triggering conversations clear over here in an area I haven't even discovered yet. And of course you can't hear what the fuck they're saying, because, yeah. Tarted. Well, hello down there. Looking forward to seeing you inside. Looking forward to seeing you inside. Looking forward to seeing you inside. Any day now, Reagan will be reborn. Pray for Ronnie. Reagan be with you. Pray for Ronnie. Keep an eye out. Commies are everywhere. Keep an eye out. Commies are everywhere. Judgment Day is nigh. Keep an eye out. Commies are everywhere. There is no God but Ray. Reagan be with you. Do you ever question your faith? Of course not. Uh, neither. Praise the Gipper! Reagan be with you. So, so. The second coming is coming. The second coming is coming. Keep your voice down. Come and despise my goodness. Any day now, Reagan will be reborn. Keep your voice low. Tommy inspires my people. Judgment Day is nigh. Judgment Day is nigh. Don't keep the God President waiting, Ranger. You'll find him at the north end of the building. In the sanctuary of the Holy Sir. I wish I could get an audience with the God President. Don't keep the God President waiting, Ranger. You'll find him at the north end of the building. In the sanctuary of the Holy Sir. I wish I could get an audience with the God President. Partner, howdy. Just watching this terminal for the Nancys. 
keep it under your hat, but I'm told it's mighty important. Partner? Howdy. About the same. Still watching the terminal. Partner? Howdy. Partner? Sorry, partners. Access to this console is restricted by order of the Nancys. Okay, not gonna be fucking with that anytime soon. Don't keep the God President waiting, Ranger. You'll find him at the north end of the building, in the sanctuary of the Holy Serpent. She has a weapon modding per uh, check, I think. I think we have plenty, though. Okay. friends sister nancy forge ronnie's fourth wife and his armorer made all our guns armor explosives and that commie killing ronnie statue out on our front porch hmm will i lose the check Damn right it is, but thanks for saying so. Anyway, I'm the traitor here on top of everything else. You need something? I might have it. And if I don't, <laughs> you probably don't need it. Hmm. Hey, before you head out, I think you might be able to lend the Gipper armor your hand. Those commies at the airport have some cute tricks when it comes to repairing both machines and people. Doesn't matter how hard we blast them bots, they always come back in perfect shape. And it's the same with whoever they heal. Even godfishers. If you can find out how the bots repair themselves and humans, it would help me a lot. Then I can design weapons to make those repairs impossible. Come through, and I'll give you a discount on my stock and a few supplies to boot. Thank the Gipper. You're doing me a great service. And if you talk to the Wyman, don't tell her a damn thing about this. <laughs> that woman is a taint on the Gippers, and I refuse to share resources with her. Find that data. Welcome back, Rangers. What do you need? So, yeah, it looks like you lose yep. the weapon mod check. So, huh. That's silly. I don't remember when I last saved it. Alright, so, did we already do the terminal part? Told you before, partners, access to this console is restricted by order of the Nancys. Okay, so we did. All right, so, yeah. Hey there.
there, friends. Sister Nancy Forge, Ronnie's fourth wife, and his armorer. Made all our guns, armor, explosives, and that commie killing Ronnie statue out on our front porch. Trade secret, meaning I won't sell it, and you couldn't afford it if I did. Doesn't mean I don't appreciate the compliment, though. Thank you. Anyway, I'm the traitor here on top of everything else. You need something? I might have it. And if I don't, <laughs> you probably don't need it. Ronnie called me to it during one of his spells, way back when I was a girl. She has hands of iron for forge and steel, he said. When a god tells you your trade, you best listen. Damn straight. Hmm. Blood, sweat, and tears, friend. Blood, sweat, and tears. Scavenged and smelted the plating myself. Hand ground the laser lenses. And spent a year wrapping the wiring. Also hunted and killed 30 or so scar collectors because I had some parts I needed. Steel, servos, and such. So, you're the one. <laughs> More than a few of the statues, bits, and bobs have blood on them. A fitting tribute to America's fighting president, right? Of course it is. I made it. And it's imbued with Ronnie's spirit. It's an all-American ass-kicking war machine. Yeah! Well now, kind of you to say so. What did you like best about it? <sighs> Fitting them with all that gear was a job and a half. Nice to be appreciated. You know, that reminds me. I got some leftovers from that job taking a valuable space. It's yours if you want it. Make sure you put that to good use, Rangers. Sure, have a look. So we'll get a discount from her, so no point in buying anything yet. But yeah, you uh you don't take that weapon check, you lose it. Armor modding. That will be helpful. Okay. Rangers, what do you need? Hey, before you head out, I think you might be able to lend the Gipper Armory a hand. Those commies at the airport have some cute tricks when it comes to repairing both machines and people. Doesn't matter how hard we blast them bots, they always come back in perfect shape. And it's the same with whoever they heal, even godfishers. If you can find out how the bots repair themselves and humans, it would help me a lot. Then I can design weapons to make those repairs impossible. Come through, and I'll give you a discount on my stock and a few supplies to boot. Thank you, Gipper. You're doing me a great service. And if you talk to the Wyman, don't tell her a damn thing about this. That woman is a taint on the Gippers, and I refuse to share resources with her. Yeah, so I think Wyman was Ronald Reagan's first wife. Find that data. <laughs> so the Welcome Nancys back, don't Rangers. like the Wyman. What do you need? Data. Specifically, diagnostic data that reviews how the bots at the commune repair the machines we damage in skirmishes. Bring it to me, and I'll give you a discount on my stock and some supplies to help you on your way. Yep. 
Okay. That toaster's been broken for ages. If you can fix it, it's yours. I built a weapons platform in the form of our Lord and Savior, but somehow that toaster was beyond me. Have at it, Rangers. That toaster's been broken for ages. If you can fix it, it's yours. I built a weapons platform in the form of our Lord and Savior, but somehow that toaster was beyond me. Have at it, Rangers. Okay. Welcome back, Rangers. What do you need? <laughs> yep. No, we fixed your toaster line, huh? Don't keep the God President waiting, Rangers. You'll find him at the north end of the building, in the sanctuary of the Holy Server. So this is a bastard here who's talking when you're way the fuck over here. Whatever. I wish I could get an audience with the God President. God president waiting, Rangers. You'll find him at the north end of the building, in the sanctuary of the Holy Server. I wish I could get an audience with the God president. Look, I know y'all are a big deal, but that's Gipper property. Hands off. Okay, doesn't like that. Probably won't like this either. Private property, partner. Yeah, kind of knew that was going to happen. All right. Negative on the uh, reputation walls. Okay.
Where's the Wyman? If you're looking to get patched up, I'm your gal. They call me the Wyman around here, but I prefer Doc. If you're a Nancy, and you do something the other Nancys don't like, they shun you and call you a Wyman. Yeah, no idea what it means. <laughs> Maybe some kind of rat or insect or something. Anyway, you'll hear a lot of things about me in this shitty city on the hill. <laughs> None of them good. But nobody can fault my doctrine, so you don't have to worry. So where? Colorado Springs? <laughs> Why would I bother trading one dictator with delusions of godhood for another? Besides, Colorado Springs has plenty of doctors, and the Patriarch would likely string me up within a week for speaking my mind. Come to the Plains, then. We always need doctors. And there's freedom there. <laughs> Says the slaver. <laughs> Says the slaver. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, I was Reagan's second wife behind Reliance, and now I'm not. We'll just leave it at that. Quit! Ha! Huh. I was excommunicated. Mother Reliance burned my Nancy wig and used my red suit for a toilet rag. She'd hand me over to the Godfishers if anyone else in this Girl Scout camp knew their way around a med kit. Speaking of, I could use your help to drive that point home. I might be able to waive the fees for treating your wounds, if you're interested. So, like I said, Reliance would have Ronnie light me up if she didn't need me. So, I, uh, I need to make sure she doesn't start looking at other medical options. Pretty sure the robots at the machine commune have some tricks for healing humans, not just machines. Every once in a while, a Gipper patrol will get lost, injured, and then a couple of days later show up bright as rain, escorted by a couple of robots. Obviously, Reliance has Ronnie blast him before any commie sleeper programming can turn on, but if you're in the commune and get some kind of data on their clinic, I'll heal you up for free from then on. And throw in a few medical supplies, too. Greedy varmints. All right, fine. Here's a few things to help you on your way. Consider it a down payment. Too much head trauma? I want any hard data you can find on how the robots heal people up. And remember, don't mention this to Sister Nancy Forge. Sure, but this ain't a charity. Suits me. See for yourself. You ain't dead yet, so that's something. Take care. That's medicinal, Rangers, and it's mine. Come on. 
I wonder if she's as grumpy with her stuff. This ain't a charity, Rangers. You need a med kit? Talk to me. Okay. All right, so that's Terminal 2. today. Mother Nancy has ordered a full audit of Reagan's neural net to try and isolate the cause. Sys admin log entry 1821. Testament of Sister Nancy Justice. Reagan's behavior is increasingly erratic. He's having conversations with persons only he can see. I... I fear that I don't have the code craft to make this right. Sis admin log entry 2403. Testament of Sister Nancy Justice. The God President demanded to speak with Nancy tonight. When we asked which Nancy, he flew into a terrible rage. Had to initiate an emergency shutdown for repairs. Sis admin log entry 3314. Testament of Mother Nancy Reliance. This log has reached the end of its usefulness and will be terminated. Effective immediately. All right. Partner? Hmm. 
Bill. Pilgrim. Okay. Hoss. Person. <laughs> Partner. Partner. I, uh, sorry, I just, that's how you cowboys say hello, right? Cow persons? From the others, from the stories they tell about the rangers and marshals and cowboys. Uh, they all just nod and squint and stare right through you. You know, tough, hard. Uh, my my name's uh, Bill. I, I have a stupid question. I, I know I know it's stupid, but I I, I gotta ask. I, I just gotta know. Have uh, uh have any of you seen my ma anywhere? I told you it was a stupid question. <laughs> How would you know if you saw her? I I don't even have a picture of it. I just ah you you forget I asked. It was about six years ago. She, uh, she had a fight with Mother Nancy. Called her a bunch of things I'd never heard before. They wanted her to become one of those God President Reagan's wives. It's a big honor, but uh, I guess she didn't want it. She said she'd leave before she married a machine. They told her, okay, go, but I couldn't go with her. She, uh, she, uh, left anyway. You, uh, you mean like, like the stories? Walking to West with a six-shooter in my hand, saving my mom from, uh, engines and cattle barons and railroad men? Uh, you think I should do it? Sure I do. I mean, I've never been, but uh, I know all the history. You know, how God President Reagan conquered the West before it was God President. All that. You don't know? Well, this was back in the bad old days when the West was overrun by commies all trying to build iron curtains and stop freedom. The God President was still a man back then, before the Ascension, but, oh boy, was he tough. He, he had a six-shooter that fired seven bullets and, and a horse named Ashwater that killed Reds just by looking at them. Anyway, I, I know the West has gotten worse again since he tamed it back then, but, uh, I reckon I can handle it. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, maybe you're right. I, I guess it would have been dumb, but... Oh, it felt right. Uh, like my heart was a locked door and... And your words were the key. Yeah. Sorry, Ma. 
Hmm. It really seems to be pushing you towards making him go out there. Really? <laughs> oh, I, I knew it. The minute you said I should leave, I knew it was the right thing to do. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Rangers. Maybe this will be like Newt in Steel Town. I, uh, I gotta go find my gun. Oh, hey, buddy. Guess his guns are not here. They're in Colorado. All right, let's go talk to the uh, sister Forge and see if she has anything about the Wyman. Welcome back, Rangers. What do you need? Hmm. Yep. So you can't tell her about the Wyman. All right, so we found one terminal, two terminals, but I don't see a third terminal. I guess it's down here somewhere. Hmm. Western White House. God, President Reagan is expecting you. Please come in. Okay. All right, this episode is about an hour long, so we're going to go ahead and stop here and continue right here on the next episode. Later, guys. <laughs>